Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Bulgarian ebook before it's gone. When learning a new language, everyone should have an ultimate goal to work towards. Whether you want to be able to connect with a relative, easily order food while traveling, or go somewhere new, having an end goal for your learning can be very motivating. A popular but challenging goal is being able to speak like a native speaker. It's difficult to measure exactly when you reach this goal, and it's not something you can pick up using textbooks alone. So how do you work on making your speech more natural? That's what we're going to look at today. Here are three tips to help you practice talking like a native speaker. Number one, focus on vocabulary. If your goal is to speak like a native, you might be really focused on speaking quickly or using as many complex grammar patterns as possible. But in our native languages, we're not always trying to speak as fast as possible. And we use complex grammar patterns when necessary, not to show off. Vocabulary, however, is extremely important to expressing ourselves naturally. Your choice of words can reveal a lot about you and your understanding of the language. Most learners have had the experience of using a phrasebook or a dictionary to find a word they want to use, trying the word in conversation, and getting a look of confusion from the native speaker. In some cases, although your word choice may be grammatically correct, the word may be inappropriate for the situation or totally unnatural. This is especially important in business and other formal situations, where the right level of formality and professionalism is key. Being able to understand nuances in vocabulary words can also help you understand relationships between people just by listening to the conversation. Try to listen to many different types of conversations. Listen to how people talk to their friends, their superiors, and in customer service situations. This will give you a better idea of how to talk to others naturally. In some languages, you can omit words from sentences or use more direct communication styles. It's important to be aware of these things so you can apply them yourself. Colloquialisms and slang are also commonly used in most languages. As this sort of vocabulary is always evolving, it can be difficult to keep up with the latest words. Talk with native speakers and consume media in your target language to make sure you pick up these kinds of expressions. Media is a great resource for your learning. Ultimately, knowing the appropriate vocabulary to use for each situation will really help you sound more knowledgeable. Number two, perfect your accent. With every language, there are unique pronunciation and intonation challenges. Some languages are tonal languages, and a change in pitch can completely change the meaning of a word. Then there's the fact that most countries have multiple dialects, and so people from one area of the country may sound different from those in another. So what is the best way to listen to a wide range of accents and different pronunciations? Video and audio resources are a great way to do this. YouTube is a perfect place to start because people from all kinds of different backgrounds upload videos to the platform. You can watch educational videos, daily life vlogs, cooking shows, a travel series, whatever interests you. Pay attention to the different ways people speak. Everyone is unique. And then practice speaking like them. This kind of practice can help you sound more natural. One note, please be aware of the type of resources you're using. For example, if you find a video where a speaker uses a rare dialect, it might not be a good idea to use that for your pronunciation practice, unless you have a special reason for studying a specific accent. As a general rule, it's best to try to search for practice resources that use a standard form of the language you're studying. Number three, copy what you hear. Do you remember how you learned to speak as a child? We rarely learned new words just listening to them or reading after we learned how. When we were little kids, we imitated the sounds we heard by repeating the sounds out loud. While you're talking to a friend, watching videos, or listening to audio in your target language, you can do this to try and replicate the way they speak. Doing this will help you work on mastering the flow of the language, your accent, intonation, and pronunciation. Of course, you might also pick up some new vocabulary this way. Make sure to repeat new words often. It's a great way to make sure you remember them. Try doing this using a number of different mediums and sources. That way, you'll be exposed to the diversity that the language offers and master the fundamentals of pronunciation. 
For example, you can watch and imitate several different YouTube videos and audio CDs, but try a few different sources, like different creators or different audio types, to make sure you experience a wide range of communication in your target language. If you're using our language learning program, you can even get your own teacher with Premium Plus. Your teacher can answer questions, give assignments, and even listen to your recordings and give you advice on pronunciation. Completing these kinds of lessons with a native teacher can really boost your confidence in your speaking skills. Becoming able to speak like a native is a popular goal for many people learning a new language. It feels great to be able to communicate smoothly, especially when the people you're talking to expect basic level sentences or broken communication. Try using the tips we've shared in this video to work on improving your speaking skills. Of course, it'll take time and persistence, but the reward will be more natural communication. And for even more tips on speaking, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Stavai vece. Sedem i polovina e. Oshte pet minuti samo. Пак ще закъснееш. Да. Както искаш. Аз излизам за работа. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Ставам. To get up. Ставам. Ставам. Половина. Half. Половина. Половина. Minuta. Minute. Minuta. Minuta. Samo. Just. Only. Samo. Samo. Zakasnyavam. To be late. Zakasnyavam. Zakasnyavam. Kakto. As. Kakto. Kakto. Iskam. To want, to wish. Is come, is come. As, I, as, as. Is lizam, to go out. Is lizam, is lizam. Rabota, work, job. Rabota, rabota. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Ставай вече. Седем и половина е. Още пет минути само. Пак ще закъснееш. Да. Както искаш. Аз излизам за работа. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson.
Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Еленке, я кажи, ти инсталирала ли си нещо на компютъра? Не, не съм. Ами защо играта, която винаги играя, не може да стартира? Не знам, Ники. Е, кой може да знае? А, Кирил, разбира се. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Казвам. To say. Казвам. Казвам. Ти. Ю. Ти. Ти. Инсталирам. To install. Инсталирам. Инсталирам. Компютър. 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 Игра. Гейм. Плей. Игра. Игра. Играя. To play. Играя. Играя. Стартирам. To start. To run. Стартирам. Стартирам. Знам. To know. Знам. Знам. Разбира се. Of course. Разбира се. Разбира се. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Еленке, я кажи, ти инсталирала ли си нещо на компютъра? Не, не съм. Ами защо играта, която винаги играя, не може да стартира? Не знам, Ники. Е, кой може да знае? А, Кирил, разбира се. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Мъж и жена разговарят. Къде е ключът? Къде е ключът за апартамента? Оставих го на масата. Няма го там. Виж под масата. Няма нищо. М- не е и в джоба. О, беше в чантата ми. Къде е ключът? Мъж и жена разговарят. Къде е ключът? Къде е ключът за апартамента? Оставих го на масата. Няма го там. Виж под масата. Няма нищо. М- не е и в джоба. О, беше в чантата ми. Мъж и жена разговарят. Кога ще рисува мъжът? Всеки ден ли рисуваш? Да, от 9 сутринта до 7 вечерта. От 9 до 7? Това са 10 часа. Ами да, това ми е работата. Кога ще рисува мъжът? Мъж и жена разговарят. Кога ще рисува мъжът? 
Всеки ден ли рисуваш? Да, от 9 сутринта до 7 вечерта. От 9 до 7? Това са 10 часа. Ами да, това ми е работата. Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at bulgarianpod101.com. Приятно ми е. Hi, I'm Eva. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Bulgarian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes 3 minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Bulgarian. But first, it's important to clarify that in Bulgarian, there is a difference between the formal and the informal language. Let's first see how Bulgarian people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Здрасти! Аз се казвам Ива. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Hi, I'm Ива. Nice to meet you. Здрасти! Аз се казвам Ива. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Start by saying Здрасти! Аз се казвам Then say your name. Здрасти, аз се казвам Ива. Finally say, приятно ми е да се запознаем. Здрасти, аз се казвам Ива. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. And now let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Здравейте, аз се казвам Ива Георгиева. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Hello, I'm Ива Георгиева. Nice to meet you. Здравейте. Аз се казвам Ива Георгиева. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at this together. Здрасти has been substituted with the formal greeting Здравейте. Formal Bulgarian for hello. Аз се казвам Ива has not been changed. Аз се казвам stands in both cases for I am or my name is. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Eva Georgieva. Here, you would say your full name. Finally, the ending remains the same. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. It is a universal Bulgarian greeting, meaning nice to meet you. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Bulgarian is Здрасти, аз се казвам Ива. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. The formal way to introduce yourself is Здравейте, аз се казвам Ива Георгиева. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Now it's time for Ива's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Bulgaria. And if you're not sure whether to use Здрасти or Здравейте, just say simply Добър ден, which means hello and is used during the daytime. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Готови ли сте? Are you ready? Да започваме! So let's start! There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Благодаря. Благодаря. Благодаря means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add много. Много благодаря. Много благодаря. Много means a lot. So много благодаря is like saying thank you very much. During the last lesson, we mentioned both the informal and the formal way of speaking Bulgarian. Bogudaria is the most common way to thank someone. If you want to be more casual, there is another word you should use, and you will be amazed which word that is. Merci. Merci. Merci is a loan word from French, but it is pronounced with the typical Bulgarian hard R. R. It is used mainly in informal situations. Merci. How do you answer? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is Няма защо. 
Nyama zashito. Nyama zashito literally means there is no reason, but it is the equivalent of don't mention it. The other way to say you're welcome is the word mola. Mola. Literally, this word means I beg or please, but it has become a common way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone says Bogudaria to you, we can simply reply with Nyama zashito or Mola. Now it's time for Eva's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use Merci or Bogudaria, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Bogudaria can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Bulgaria. Gotovi liste? Are you ready? Zapotvame! So let's start! The most used informal greeting is Zdrasti! Zdrasti! Zdrasti means hi or hello. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. There is one more word which is informal way to say hello. Zdravei. It has the same meaning as drasti and is used when we speak only with one person. Zdravei. And now let's continue with the formal way to greet people. The most general version is Dobar den. Dobar den. Literally, Dobar den means good day. So, as a rule, we can use Dobar den only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say Dobar večer. Dobar večer. Večer is Bulgarian for evening, so Dobar večer means good evening. During the morning, we say Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Utro is Bulgarian for morning. Dobro utro, dobar den and dobar večer are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we use another word. In this formal situation, Bulgarian people use Dovizdane. Dovizdane. Dovizdane means goodbye. Finally, in Bulgarian, we have an expression meaning see you soon. That can be considered both formal and informal. Doskoro. Doskoro. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Bulgarian. Let's review them all again. When meeting in an informal situation, zdrasti or zdravei for one person. When meeting older people or someone we don't know in the different times of the day, dobro utro. Dobar den, dobar večer. When leaving in a formal situation, dovištane. When leaving, no matter whether it is a formal or informal situation, doskoro. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Eva's insights. Remember, merci from the last lesson. Bulgarian uses a lot of words borrowed from other languages, and we also have one for goodbye. Ciao! Just like Italian. This is actually the phrase you will hear the most in Bulgaria. Friends often say it to each other when leaving. Try to say it to your Bulgarian friends. Ciao! In this lesson, we are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you are asking it in Bulgarian, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal way to say it. Govoriš li anglijski? Govoriš li anglijski? In Bulgarian, verbs change depending on the formality and also depending on the subject. This word is the informal form of the verb govoria, which means to speak and it is conjugated for the second person singular. The next word is the particle LI, which is used in many Bulgarian questions. 
Just remember that it means something like weather. And you probably recognize английски to be English. Говорите ли английски? To learn how to properly conjugate verbs like говоря, please look at our Absolute Beginner series on BulgarianPod101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. We are now going to make this sentence formal. First, we need to use the formal version of speak which is говорите. Everything else stays the same. Говорите ли английски? Говорите ли английски? Adding извинете, excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Извинете, говорите ли английски? Извинете, говорите ли английски? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Da. Yes. Da. Mauko. A little. Mauko. Ne, ne govori angliski. No, I don't speak English. Ne, ne govori angliski. Since the last one is a negative statement, we need to say ne before the verb govoria and ne in the beginning of the whole sentence. Notice also that the verb govoria is slightly different than govorite. Remember, the verb changes depending on the formality and the subject. We are now talking about us, Bulgarian for I. Thus, I do not speak is as ne govoria. Now it's time for Eva's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Bulgarian people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute английски with руски for Russian, немски for German, italianski for Italian, испански for Spanish. In this lesson, we mentioned the expression извинете. But did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Bulgarian. It's never too late to show your good manners with Bulgarian people. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase извинете, говорите ли английски? Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word извинете, which means excuse me in formal Bulgarian. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use извинете and other words when apologizing in Bulgarian. We should use извинете in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, извинете едно кафе моля? Excuse me, a coffee please? We can also use it when asking a question. Извинете, къде се намира храм Александър Невски? Excuse me, where is the Александър Невски Cathedral? Sometimes we also hear people say, ако обичате, which means the same thing when you want to draw someone's attention. We only use this phrase in formal speech. Ако обичате. The informal way to say excuse me is извинявай. Извинявай. Just like извинете, we can use извинявай when asking a question or when apologizing. We can also use the word прощавай. Прощавай. You might hear this phrase translated as forgive me in English, but it's not formal or strong at all. Bulgarian people use it in very casual situations. Its formal version in second person plural is Prushtavaite. All of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is Sajalavam. It means I'm sorry and can be used in both formal and informal situations. Съжалявам. This verb is in the first person singular form, so it basically means I'm sorry. You can use this expression anytime you wish to apologize. 
Now it's time for Eva's insights. Please remember that in Bulgaria, if you accidentally bump into someone, we don't say I'm sorry, sojalavam. Instead, we say izvinete, excuse me, or proštavajte, forgive me. Are you able to count in Bulgarian? When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Tate, ще ми помогнеш ли за малко за този проект? За домашно ли е? Това не е домашно, а проект. Нали вече съм студент? Колко бързо минава времето? Тате, ще ми помогнеш ли или не? Да, да. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Pomagam. To help. Pomagam. Pomagam. Mauko. A little. Mauko. Mauko. Projekt. Project. Projekt. Projekt. Domashno. Homework. Domashno. Domashno. Student. University student. 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 Burzo. Fast. Burzo. Burzo. Minavam. Pass. Minavam. Minavam. Vreme. Time. Vreme. Vreme. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Tate, ще ми помогнеш ли за малко за този проект? За домашно ли е? Това не е домашно, а проект. Нали вече съм студент? Колко бързо минава времето? Тате, ще ми помогнеш ли или не? Да, да. This is the end of the lesson. 
In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long-distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Osmi ret miastu C. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Официални празници. Третата неделя на всеки месец. You are at a bus stop where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. Автобус 301 не спира тук. Okay, hi everyone! How are you today? I'm your host, Daria, and this is an episode of BulgarianPod101.com. Maybe one of the most important episodes because it gives you the top 25 Bulgarian phrases that they are. 
I mean, these are key phrases that you need to start a conversation, to introduce yourself, to say the, the basic phrases of every language. So if you want to be 25 Bulgarian phrases ahead of the rest of the people who don't know those, grab a pen and a notebook and let's start. Zdravej. Zdravej. Hello. How to start? How should we start? I think there's no better way to start but to say zdravej. <laughs> zdravej. Hello. Well, hello everyone. Um, zdravej is like an informal way to say it. You can say zdravej te, the formal one. Um, also plural, yeah. You can say zdravej te to multiple people. And also if... Um, if you hear that some Bulgarian people say Zdrasti, Zdrasti, this is the short version of hello. Just hi. Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning. How do you usually start the day? If you see somebody, you would greet them with Dobro utro. Dobro utro. Good morning. This phrase I love a lot because of the vibration of it. Dobro utro. Practice your R's in, uh, in this phrase. Also, I like to use it because we're one step ahead um, of our southern neighbors, the Greek people, who don't even have a phrase for good morning. They just start from Kalimera, which is the day. I don't know why nobody celebrates the morning over there. We do. Dobar den. Dobar den. Good afternoon. Moving on later in the day. Dobar den. Dobar den. Good afternoon. Now, here's a tricky part because it may be 10 a.m. in the morning, but you can hear a Bulgarian saying Dobar den which literally is good afternoon, but we use it more as good day to you. So remember it, dobar den. Leka nošt. Leka nošt. Good night. When you go to bed, you would hear a Bulgarian person wishing you leka nošt. Leka nošt. This is good night. Good night, good night. I remember a song from my childhood. There was a television show just before the little kids would go to bed. Uh, and the show was called Lekanost de Tsa. Good night, children. De Tsa. And it was about a character named Suncho. Suncho, which is like a sleepy boy. Anyway, memories from my childhood. Moving on. Как се казваш? Как се казваш? What's your name? Now that you've learned how to greet people according to the part of the day your encounter is happening, how to properly introduce yourself? You can ask them for, for their name. Как се казваш? Как се казваш? This is pretty much asking what's your name? You can also make it uh, plural or formal by saying te at the end. Kak se kazva te? What is your name formal? And how do we reply to that? As sam maya. As sam maya. I'm maya. As sam daria. As sam daria. As sam daria. This is a way of saying, I am Daria. And what do we usually add after that, after we introduce our name? Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Nice to meet you. Usually after we say our name, we would add. Приятно ми е да се запознаем. Right? It's very simple. Priatno mi e da se 
Запознаем. Nice to meet you. Now, you can just use the first uh, part of this phrase, which is приятно мие. It's nice. <laughs> That's pretty much enough for a Bulgarian. But if you m- want to sound more like a true Bulgarian, you gotta say приятно мие да се запознаем. Как си? Как си? How are you? Как си? Как си? How are you? This is a classic question you can ask anybody and um, it's a door opener, by the way. I've heard I use it quite a lot in the US or other countries. However, please, I beg of you, when you ask Kaxi, really show interest and really mean it. Kaxi. Благодаря добре. А ти? Благодаря добре. А ти? I'm fine, thanks. And you? And usually there is the answer. Благодаря добре. А ти? Благодаря добре. А ти? Literally, uh, I'm fine, thank you. And how about you? Благодаря добре. Благодаря добре. А ти? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Literally, благодаря is thank you. Добре is good. Thank you, good. А ти? And you? Uh, you can juggle with that or you can say how you really feel. You may be moody, you may be happy, you may be uh, anxious. So you can add whatever you like in that little phrase. Благодаря, добре. Благодаря, не добре. Моля. Моля. Please. Моля. Моля. It's a very important word because it shows politeness. It shows good intention. This is the Bulgarian word for please. Please. Also, molia means uh, I beg you, I beg of you. But uh, you can also add it to um, any sentence if you would like to request something. And we'll see later on how to use molia. Благодаря. Благодаря. Thank you. The next word is a very important one because it shows gratitude. Благодаря. Благодаря. One word. It means thank you. But the root of the word is благо, which is... um, Oh, the best, the best things or the nice things. Daria, I'm gifting them to you. Like nice things I'm giving. Um, So you can say благодаря. But also for people who don't feel um, confident in saying this long word in Bulgarian, it's fine for you to use the French merci because we've stolen that one in our language. Пак заповядай. Пак заповядай. You are welcome. And usually if you say благодаря, you can say right afterwards. Пак заповядай. Пак заповядай. You are welcome. And you have the nicest of nicest things in your relationship with the person you have just met. Nice, nice base to work on from then on. Da. Yes. Here are the two most important words to reply a yes and no question, which are which are the words yes and no. Da. Da in Bulgarian means yes. Ne. No. Ne in Bulgarian means no. But don't confuse it with the type of nodding, because all over the world. This means da 
in this means ne, but only in Bulgaria it's vice versa. So this would mean no, and this would mean yes. Not ne, da. Why? I can't even tell you. I can't. <laughs> Some psychology thing, sociology, I don't know. Dobre. Okay. Remember the phrase that we've used before? Blagoderia dobre. Uh, replying to how are you feeling today? Uh, good, thank you. Good. This is the word dobre. Dobre. This means okay in Bulgarian and it's okay to use it as much as possible just because of the good vibration of it. Dobre, dobre. Izvinete. Izvinete. Excuse me. Another of the top 25 Bulgarian phrases that everybody should know is izvinete. Izvinete. Excuse me. Yes. People should learn how to use this word as much as possible because, first of all, Bulgarian people rarely use it. Why? If, so, if they step on your foot uh, or they push you or punch you or do something horrible to you, they would say, Opa! They may even crush your car and they will say, Opa! Which literally is, oops! They would not say, excuse me, I apologize, and they would just go away. Yeah, because uh, we are such people. But really, a lot of people say opa. Opa, which is, I think it's a Greek word as well. Opa. Opa! Opa, hey. Uh, okay. Sejalavam. Sejalavam. I'm sorry. Another good word to use is sejalavam. Sejalavam. Now, uh, this means I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, but a lot of people ha ha find difficulty pronouncing the... Now I'm having difficulty speaking. Pronouncing uh, the U uh in the beginning, because we have this sound. Uh, uh. The Brazilian people would understand perfectly what I'm talking about, because they have this sound. But if you don't, stress on Sejalavam. Uh, it actually makes you makes your body feel good after you say it. So I'm sorry. Use it as much as you can. Kolko e chasat? Kolko e chasat? What time is it? So you're walking the streets of Sofia or Plovdiv, and you have a meeting with a, a local person to show you around. You've agreed to meet at 2 o'clock somewhere, but you don't have a watch. Uh, the phone, the battery on your phone is dead, so there is no way for you to know is it 2 o'clock already or not. Here is a way to ask for it. Kolko chasat? Kolko e chasat? What's the time? Usually, as, a, as an answer, you would get just a number. Two, <laughs> dva, dva časa, tri časa, četiri, and it's useful if you know the Bulgarian numbers. Kde je toaletnata? Kde je toaletnata? Where is the restroom? Another very useful phrase, which is definitely among the top 25 Bulgarian phrases you should know, is this one. Kde e toaletnata? Kde e toaletnata? The double O. Okay, where is the restroom? Um, <laughs> I don't know why, uh, why I feel saying that learning this will open a lot of doors for you. Hopefully it will open a lot of doors for you and you don't have to wait in front of the restroom. But in Bulgaria, there are a lot, a lot of uh, public restrooms around, though you can use any cafe or restaurant for this. Uh, and literally, you can just say toilet 
and they will understand you because toilet, toaletna. Very similar. Ischakite za moment. Ischakite za moment. Wait a moment. Here is another phrase. If you hear somebody say, Ischakite za moment. Ischakite za moment. They usually mean, wait a moment. I hope you don't hear this uh, in front of the restroom door. But in case that happens, you know that you have to wait. Hey, sometimes in life you have to wait for the good things to come and to happen to you. Колко струва това? Колко струва това? How much is this? So, you, you've had a wonderful day sightseeing and you've met the local person and then you enter a souvenir shop. But in the souvenir shop, there is... No price announced. Now, if that happens, you can ask. Kolko struva tova? Kolko struva tova? How much is this? And again, they will give you a number as an answer. So it's always handy and good to learn the Bulgarian numbers first. Pomost. Pomost. Help. If you need help, ask for it. You can say pomošt. Pomošt. Help. Yell it as loud as you can. Pomošt. Pomošt. Um, it's a funny thing that we Bulgarians have been exposed so much to Western movies that Almost everybody would know the English version of, of Pomošt, which is help. However, you will sound like a true Bulgarian if you learn Pomošt. Do skoro. Do skoro. See you later. We are almost towards the end. It seems proper that I give you two phrases of how to part with people. So, bear with me. Do skoro. Do skoro. Means, uh, see you later. Do viždane. Do viždane. Goodbye. Another word would be do viždane. Do viždane. Goodbye. And... Don't be afraid to use the Italian ciao because it's so short and so easy and everybody uses it. And this is another foreign word that we have stolen and claimed in our, in our Bulgarian language. Ne znam. Ne znam. I don't know. Ne znam. Ne znam. This is a way of saying, I don't know. And in my personal opinion, this phrase can get you out of almost any situation. Whatever they ask you, you just say, ne znam. And you can add bulgarski at the end of that sentence. For example, ne znam bulgarski. <laughs> and that will be enough for the people to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. If you do know Bulgarian, which you do by watching BulgarianPod101.com, you can just say Znam. I know. Bulgarski. Bulgarian. Znam Bulgarski. I know Bulgarian. Great. Seems like we've reached the end of this episode of BulgarianPod101.com and you now know the top 25 Bulgarian phrases everybody should know. Great! That's amazing. I'm proud of you. And by the way, for more Bulgarian, click subscribe here under this video. Leave me a comment about which of this you would say to a stranger. Um, or go to BulgarianPod101.com for more lessons in Bulgarian. I'm your host, Daria, and I can't wait until I meet you next time. Until then, do skoro!
Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Добро утро. Съжалявам, че закъснях. Добро утро. Моля, седнете на мястото си. Благодаря. Кирил винаги закъснява. Нали? Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Добро утро. Good morning. Добро утро. Добро утро. Съжалявам. To be sorry. Съжалявам. Съжалявам. Че. That. Че. Че. Моля. Please. Моля. Моля. Сядам. To sit. Сядам. Сядам. Място. Seat. Place. Място. Място. Благодаря. Thank you. Благодаря. Благодаря. Винаги. Always. Винаги. Винаги. Нали? Right. Нали? Нали? Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Добро утро. Съжалявам, че закъснях. Добро утро. Моля, седнете на мястото си. Благодаря. Кирил винаги закъснява. Нали? This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Знаеш ли, трябва да си купя нови обувки за есента. Ами хайде да ходим заедно до мола в петък. След лекции? Да, нали не може да отсъстваме. Ама как не ми се стои до 5 часа? Няма начин. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Купувам. To buy. Купувам. Купувам. Нов. New. Нов. Нов. Обувка. Shoe. Обувка. Обувка. Есен. Autumn. Есен. Есен. Ходя. To go. To walk. Ходя. Ходя. Заедно. Together. 
Заедно. Заедно. Петък. Friday. Петък. Петък. Лекция. Lecture. Лекция. Лекция. Отсъствам. To be absent. Отсъствам. Отсъствам. Стоя. To stay. To stand. Стоя. Стоя. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Знаеш ли, трябва да си купя нови обувки за есента. Ами хайде да ходим заедно до мола в петък. След лекции? Да, нали не може да отсъстваме. Ама как не ми се стои до 5 часа? Няма начин. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Bulgarian ebook before it's gone.